Good morning, Allie. How good are morning. you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. I'm so glad you were able to join us or me specifically, actually, <laughs> but I'm glad that you're meeting with me. Like, <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Tell us where you are. So currently I'm in St. Petersburg, Florida. And it and is the in the back is great. <laughs> yeah. And um, this is actually my condo that I'm currently renting. And um, this is part of the bay. Wow. So I'm just like 10 minutes from the beach. It's glorious. So every off day, I try to do something, you know, it's like every off day is a vacation. I'm, I'm really jealous. I'm like, it's cold here. We're in a jacket. <laughs> and I'm like, it's cold in Memphis. Um, so let's get started with the first question. Cause I sent you the list, but we'll get started on the few questions that I have. So how did you find Travel Nurses Inc? And what made you choose to travel with our agency? So I found Travel Nurses Inc. by actually um, an older employee of y'all's, Sebastian. He mm -hmm. went to nursing school with me and I actually graduated with Shane Garner as well. Oh, um, cool. Yeah. And they had like posted on our uh, graduation nursing page. We still had like a Facebook page and they're like, hey, if anybody's interested in traveling, like I work for Travel Nurses Inc. And I was like, okay, maybe in a couple of years after I get my first couple of years under my belt, I'm interested in traveling. Literally, I hit my two-year mark. I was contacting Sebastian. I was like, okay, I'm ready to travel. Let's go. What can I do? Um, and I just felt super comfortable with him and Shane. And I've loved the company. I've been with you guys for quite some time now. Um, so so when, how many years were you in nursing, like actively a nurse before you started? Like how many years ago was that? So that was four years ago. Um, so you've so been traveling with us for, for four years. Yeah, that's awesome. That's great. I'm glad that you like it because, like, that's a long time of traveling. Yes, I yeah. love it. I've actually it's been a blessing because I did like travel, travel for about two and a half years. Um, mm -hmm. and then my husband and I we just kind of wanted to stay somewhere a little bit longer, kind of plan our roots a little bit more permanently, not for forever permanently, but. Yeah. for a little bit longer than a few months. Yeah. And um, so we actually came back to St. Petersburg, which was where our first travel contract was. We just fell in love with the city of St. Pete. And we're like, look, we can get this condo literally right on the water, um, you know, for what we're paying for our mortgage here. So let's make the move. And I've been doing local contracts for the past two years. And I would like to continue to do that for a little while longer, at least. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So... What inspired you to become a nurse? What inspired me? So my grandmother, I call her my Grammy. She is actually now a retired nurse. Um, but when I was in middle school, she really wanted me to come to Nicaragua on a medical mission trip with her, my grandfather, and their church group. Mm -hmm. And I'd never like really been away from home long. I'd definitely never been out of the country. Um, and at this point in time, I thought I wanted to be a veterinarian. I knew I wanted to be in healthcare some type of way. Like I wanted to be help healing someone or something. And so I went to Nicaragua with her. We were there for two weeks and I worked alongside of her and getting to see her be a nurse and interacting with these people in these different communities, um, yeah. listening to their complaints and needs and her being able to help diagnose and medicate and do her assessments. I was just wowed. I was like, it's just something clicked in me. I was like, this is it. This That's is what awesome. I'm supposed to be doing. So, um, I went for the next like six years in a row with her. And then once I graduated from nursing school, I was actually able to like play the role as an actual nurse, um, which that was amazing to do as well. So that is so Hi, cool. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Grammy. <laughs> yes. Love you. <laughs> That's awesome. Like I'm so jealous. Like I've been on, I've been to a few like trips like that, but never actively, but I'm not a nurse. So never actively like doing something like that. So that's super cool. Um, um, how do you, or let me rephrase this. How does it feel when you are in the nursing community? Like just to be a part of that. It feels, if I had like one word to describe being in the nursing community, I would say it's empowering. For the most part, we all have each other's back. Like we know what it's like, the everyday hustle mm -hmm. and bustle, especially these long 12 hour shifts. 
Um, it's, it's not easy. It's not for the faint hearted, but it's so rewarding at the same time. Um, so being able to be a part of that community and especially during this COVID pandemic, which it's been crazy for everybody. Um, definitely no way to sugarcoat it. It's been really rough. Yeah. Um, but being a part of the community and just being able to have each other's back and we all kind of have this un understanding of we, we got this, we can do yeah. this. But let's keep pushing through. We, we've got to do this for our patients and for our loved ones. And so it's definitely empowering. That, that's a perfect word. Like, I'm so glad that you had that because that's perfect. How <laughs> did you go about finding housing while on a travel nurse? Well, obviously you said you just got this condo, but beforehand, how did you get housing? So we actually learned the hard way. Um, I did Craigslist and got scammed. So, we're all in, but we have also done Craigslist since. Yes, I know we're crazy and it has worked. So just please do your research, please. Cause there are scammers everywhere. Don't ever mail any check or any money or anything. Um, FaceTime, Zoom, mm -hmm. whatever you can do um, to reassure, get references. Um, so we hit and miss on Craigslist. Um, another big one that I really, really enjoyed using was Furnish Finder because it's free to use. You don't get charged for services because we've done Airbnb in the past, but those services, service charges can add up like crazy, especially if you're doing somewhere for a few months. Mm -hmm. um, it can really, really add up. So Furnish Finder was a great thing and you have to be in the medical field to do a profile. So there's a lot more trust in the community of furnished finder and everything is hence furnished typically yeah. and they do expect um because your average length of stay is going to be 13 weeks typically now some you'll have like four week contracts or eight week contracts but typically they're 13 weeks which for some renters that aren't used to renting to the medical traveling medical field um it's kind of a long stint so they're like no i won't kind of turn and burn type deal so the furnished finder was great we used that multiple times well that is good to know that's oh, great. And, oh, and really quick. Um, also gypsy travel nurse page on Facebook, uh -huh. great site for finding housing and stuff as well. We've had some luck with there and we've been able to help our fellow travel nurse friends, um, find housing on that Facebook page as well. Okay. Awesome. Um, so, okay. So you find these houses, you find locations, what, drives you to go to certain locations? Is it your family, the pay, adventure? Like what drives you to go to different places? So definitely all of it plays a part, but um, I hate the cold. <laughs> it's why I'm in Florida. Um, and so seasons and like weather would have a huge impact on it. And obviously pay, and you have to compare the pay compared to the housing prices. Mm -hmm. um, so it just depends. Like when we did Connecticut, for an example, Connecticut has a very long and harsh winter, but mm -hmm. I wanted a, like a nice snow, at least like once, but there, everybody's always talked about their foliage and like their fall, how beautiful it is. And like you have to see it. So when we went and did Connecticut, their summers are pretty mild. So we did the end of their summer, like end of July. Um, we were there all of fall, which was absolutely beautiful. If you've not been to like Connecticut, um, New England area, you gotta go. Um, and yeah, then, I've never been, so it's so convincing. beautiful. <laughs> I'm so gonna beautiful. Go. Like, uh, like the landscapes literally looked like the paintings that you see of the different colored trees, and mm -hmm. it was magical. And then we got a couple of big snows, and we were out of there by mid December. So, we got to see some like two really cool snows, and yeah. then I was like, all right, I'm over it. I'm ready to go back to warm weather. <laughs> yeah, you were in the middle. You got kind of got a bill of several seasons summer yeah. fall and winter that's that's cool that was great because we we extended so it was nice so do y'all also like find places on on our website you know like that you've never been and you're trying to travel there and go adventure like at those yeah. like the mountains or whatever like because you know there's always a hot spot at some always point a hot spot. yes absolutely um definitely seeing where the needs are um, that would always be like one of the big conversations I would have with my recruiter is just like, you know, 
because seasonally different areas have higher needs and the pay is better. Um, so I would just kind of outweigh the pros and cons for that. But when I was growing up, we didn't really travel much. So mm -hmm. getting to be like a travel nurse and doing travel nursing gave us a lot of experience to be able to travel and go and see. Um, so everywhere I went, I'd never been before. So it was every day was a total new adventure. And I would really try to push myself to every single off day, like, all right, let's get up. Let's go do something. Let's check out something. Um, so every day was an adventure. It was great. That you're, you're living the life. Um, <laughs> um, so your husband travels with you. Yes, he does. And he works remote. He does um, online sales. So it's been great. Very flexible. Very fortunate. That's awesome. Like he, so he works remote. So wherever you go, he can go. On your Absolutely. Travel. I wouldn't, I would, my husband's my best friend. I would not be able to do this without him. Um, it would, it would not be easy. It would not be near as fun. So we're very blessed and very fortunate to be able to travel together. Oh yeah. That's so awesome. And y'all been married the whole time you've been. Yes. Um, yes. We started dating like a year before I got into nursing school. So he's been there through it all. <laughs> and we got married. I told him, um, he had to wait until I graduated nursing school before we could get married. So after yeah. we graduated a few months later, we got married. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I'm so like, you just, uh, you have the cute little, little life. <laughs> so, okay. Final question. How do you take care of yourself after a difficult shift? Girl, now these shifts can be rough. And yeah. when you're stuck, I mean, we say it 12 hour shifts, but it's always 13, like always at least 13 hours. So it just depends. Um, but I definitely like when I get home, the first thing I do is go and take a hot shower mm -hmm. and I light candles, candles just make me just relax and breathe and calm down. And if it's been really bad, I'm definitely having me a glass of wine. <laughs> and I love to watch, um, just anything to kind of get my mind off of just all the seriousness that goes on at work. So any funny sitcom, like right now I'm rewatching New Girl. It's the best. I love it. Oh girl. my gosh. We love New Girl at Trevor and Nurse. We talk about it all the time. Like it's when we're, when we're all in it's fit to be my best friend. <laughs> yes. It's so funny. I got the vibe that you would love yeah. that show. It's great. Absolutely. So anything like that, just to kind of help me unwind, and especially if I have to work the next day. Um, yeah just kind of not have me focus on the next day, but just enjoy the present and good old Schmidt and yes. <laughs> That's Jessica awesome. Day. Yes. Well, thank you so much for doing this. I'm, Absolutely. and it's good for people to like, see like what a real travel nurse looks like and like how fun or not fun it can be. So I thank you for, you know, answering my questions and just being real and being yourself. Absolutely. I love you guys. I appreciate all y'all have done for me. Um, again, love Travel Nurses Inc. Love Travel Nursing. It's been such a blessing. And, you know, if I wasn't doing this, I would just be doing the same thing, but I would be at home and not near as happy because you're going to have hard shifts, you know, anywhere you work and you're going to have bad days anywhere. Yeah. So just it's all about making the best of it and the best of your surroundings. Yeah. That's. You have such great sayings. You're just spitting great knowledge. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> well, I thank you. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your contract and a great rest of your week. And I can't wait to hear back from you again. All right. Thank, thank you, you for so doing much. it. Have a good day. You too.